So this project is to engage young adults in the impact of COVID-19 and lockdowns on our mental health. Uh, we have been through a real journey, it's been very up and down, we've had a lot of struggles, a lot of triumphs and the aim of the project today is to kind of express our feelings, our thoughts, our experiences through the form of art. COVID-19 has impacted people's mental health for a variety of reasons. We've noticed an increase in things such as you know, anxiety, depression, obviously people aren't able to go out and see friends, family and do normal daily activities. However, on the flip side, some people have had a positive experience during the lockdown, so they've been able to not feel the pressure of having to go out and attend different activities and things like that. I mean, of course, there was always the, the element of, you know, it's, it's horrible, few people are suffering and... But for me, I found the lockdown kind of like a weight was lifted off of my shoulders. Um, I didn't have to conform to people's expectations of me. I, you know, I, I, I didn't have to hide, like, because I can be quite off kilter to people that don't know me properly. I can be kind, kind of cold and abrasive sounding. So Gallery 32 um, came out of the first lockdown. Um, it was a project that myself and Kieran developed to uh, um, kind of feed the lack of arts resources that came out of the first lockdown. Um, we've been discussing a lot today about how we found lockdown, how we found the impact of COVID-19. What did we What did we think when the vaccination came and we were told that there was this vaccine we can take and, you know, what did we all think? Oh yeah, I mean, there's a lot of fake news, you know. Some people even, you know, look at a meme, you know, some mates will think that's, you know, yeah. legitimate, you yeah. know, they get news from memes, you know. Oh, do I not have it? Do I have yeah. it? Like, okay, well, I've had all these other jobs when I was a yeah. kid, so yeah. I'll just have it. It's always good to question, but sometimes you can question too much. Not saying that you can but like I said, someone who has trained in the medical profession for nearly a decade knows what they're talking about. I think that's a good, a good point because you think that people kind of feel like you're being lied to. Yeah. yeah. But you're, you're not, but you kind of feel like you are. Yeah. Because they've misled you, but then yeah. because of all the yeah. different opinions from everybody else, most people are saying, oh, well, they lied to us. Well, when you think about it, as you said, at the start they didn't really know, so they weren't lying to us, they were just making mistakes like humans. Mm. It's been a very up and down journey, there's been a lot of struggles, there's been a lot of triumph, and we wanted to kind of showcase that through the form of arts. Well, because it's such a nice view, but you're not allowed to go out and experience it, you know, like it was in lockdown. So I thought, yeah, now I'm just going to, you know, sort of do the sky, yeah. you know, and uh, if I have time, I'll have a sun and some birds, you know, flying about. So there's plenty of wildlife allowed out, but humans aren't, you know. To see my artwork in the gallery is <laughs> quite funny because it's massive compared to everyone else's pieces. So I was, wasn't sure how it was going to display with folds and matching the paint up but seeing it I feel really accomplished because it doesn't matter it's my personal journey and being able to show it to people tonight and people I'm going to bring for the next two weeks is going to be great if I feel like a proper like celebrity it's great <laughs> my thoughts after completing the project is that it's it's really not just helped my confidence but it's made me believe that I can it doesn't matter if you can't draw you can just as I do, put handprints everywhere and make it look pretty and use natural stuff around you to use. Because I was, I was quite worried to start with thinking that obviously I wouldn't know anyone and I'm not an artist. But being able to reflect and see that actually if you do something you're afraid of, it usually turns out really well. So I'm really happy that I came down and, and I've made new friends, so that's good.